we now come to the thena eminence, which is the bump that you have on your palm which overlies your thumb. This is made up of two muscles and these muscles are actually really, really important. One of them in particular. The first is the adductor pollicis. This is a name which just, again, it just describes what it does. It pulls the thumb towards the midline of your hand. Its origin is in a, all, a very broad attachment to the third metacarpal. The insertion is over the distal, the end portion of the metacarpal of the thumb and in fact it extends over the joint, the metacarpophalangeal joint of the thumb. The action of this muscle, as it says, is to pull the thumb in towards your hand. And this it does in the plane of your hand. The second muscle is the really fascinating muscle of the thumb. And this is called the opponens pollicis. Now again, this is Latin, opponens means bringing something in contact with something else as an opponent is someone that you're against, you're op opposing you. So the opponens pollicis is the, the muscle which brings your thumb, the tip of your thumb, into contact with your fingers. It's this muscle that separates us from all other animals on earth apart from the great apes. And it gives us a hand that we can grasp and use. That makes this muscle, this tiny little muscle, an amazing evolutionary step, a huge step forward, which is astonishing really when you think about it. So, this muscle has its origin over the metacarpocarpal joints. In other words, the, over where the wrist joins into the palm. And the wrist itself, all, there are eight little carpal bones which are complicated. And there is a very strong fibrous band which holds them all together. The tendon actually joins broadly into this band. It then inserts by wrapping around the back of the metacarpal of the thumb. So its action is to pull the thumb inwards and rotate the thumb around so that the pulp of your thumb comes into contact with the pulp of your fingers. So this is no longer in the plane of the hand, but you bring the thumb forward and around. So these two muscles are actually incredibly important in so many functions in our bodies. They are necessary for any gripping, and in particular, I mean, originally this used to be called weeder's thumb, and I'm sure there are still people who are really fond of gardening where you grip tiny little weeds and pull them out. More commonly uh, in our society, it occurs in people who do a lot of writing. And as you write, if you put too much pressure on your pen or pencil, you will actually uh, stress these muscles. So anything that requires recurrent gripping or pincer grip between thumb and fingers will turn these triggers on. There are two trigger points in the thena eminence. The first is in the middle of the adductor pollicis and the second is towards the origin of the opponent's pollicis. You can see that they're quite separate from each other in the thena eminence of the thumb. This is the pain distribution from the opponent's pollicis. And you can see that, again, 
the trigger itself is tender when you press on it, but it refers pain into the thumb and into the wrist. And this is the pain distribution from the trigger point in the adductor pollicis. And again, the trigger itself is often exquisitely tender, but it tends to refer pain in a vague pattern out over the thin eminence on the, in the palm of the hand and then spread around the thumb onto the dorsal side of the thumb as well.